I wonder if JDM misses you when he's doing other things. So the postcard killings follows our New York detective, Jeffrey D. Morgan, as he goes over to London to try to solve the case of what happened to his daughter who was murdered on her honeymoon. And the whole murder case is not just a single murder case, it is part of a serial killer murder. Honestly, yeah, as I said, the only reason I did want to watch this was because Jeffrey D. Morgan was the main character in this. If he wasn't, I probably would have skipped it, never given it a second thought. But the only reason I did watch it was because of Jeffrey D. Morgan, because I am a massive fan of Negan. And honestly, he is the only really enjoyable part for this movie. He's probably the only memorable part. He's a very different kind of character in this movie than he is as Negan. Because if you look at other movies he's done recently, like Rampage a couple of years ago, I felt like that was kind of a carbon copy of Negan, where in this movie, it's very... It's very different. Some of his mannerisms are the same when he's talking to other detectives. I can see a little bit of Negan, but some situations when he's talking to people about his daughter or even talking to his ex-wife, it seems very... It doesn't seem like Negan at all, which is good for Jeffrey D. Morgan. You kind of get a different bit more range in him because I haven't really seen him in much other than The Walking Dead. So to see him do something like this, I was kind of intrigued to see where his character was going to go and just to see if Jeffrey D. Morgan would be able to do all this. And fair play, he was... He actually kind of carried the movie. Honestly, even though he is the main character, of course, he's the main guy in the poster. He's the main marketing push for this movie is Jeffrey D. Morgan. But he is by far the best part about this movie. And one of my problems I found about this movie was I wasn't really able to feel any sympathy towards the daughter and her her new husband. Because even though we do get to meet Jeffrey D. Morgan, the dad, and then the mom who was actually... She was uh, Jean Grey in the original X-Men movies. Even though we get to meet her parents, we never actually get to meet the daughter. We see her body and we see what happens to her body, but we never really get to see anything. So I wasn't really kind of, I didn't feel much sympathy for the daughter. Even though she did die a brutal death, I felt sympathy for the parents. But for the character of her and her husband, who I don't think we ever get his name, but I don't really feel much sympathy for them. So maybe if we got a scene at the start of them just kind of, hanging out together, having a bit of enjoyment time together. Maybe that would have been a bit better to see what was going to happen just because we didn't really get anything whatsoever. Like we literally come into the movie and we see their dead bodies. So I think if we kind of got a bit, a few sequences with them, just showing them kind of going about, maybe I would have been more, a bit more, I would have felt a bit more for their dead, even though it was brutal. Like the movie is surprisingly brutal. I was really not expecting it to be as bad as it actually was. We see her hand get chopped off. We see some people frozen. We see her lips kind of stitched together. Like it's it's a lot more brutal than I was expecting. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting anything like that. I was just kind of expecting a generic murder and generic kind of plot the way it was going to go on. Just, that was my prediction for it because I heard nothing about it. So I was kind of predicting it to be a generic movie. But honestly, it's a lot more brutal than I was really expecting it to be. Now, it's not like a squeamish movie. It's not like, okay, it's not like Saw or anything like that. But it's just, it's a lot more brutal than I was actually kind of going to give it credit for. The story itself, it's very generic. really doesn't do anything new. Like, it's kind of like, if you've seen a movie like this, you've probably kind of be able to piece the whole situation throughout this movie, how it's going to play out. I kind of found it to be very predictable, but I had an enjoyable enough time like I was never bored throughout this movie never wanted to switch it off but it's never a movie I would ever rewatch, and it's never a movie I would ever even consider about like after doing this review now I'm probably never going to think about this movie again um it's I just think it's a very very forgettable movie even though I had enjoyment elements with just seeing Jeffrey Dean Morgan I think I just enjoy seeing him on screen but other than that I just don't really see a lot of redeemable qualities for this movie now the villains I found them they're kind of the way it plays out, it's a bit weird, and it's not like I was kind of expecting it to go the way it was going to go. Even though I found some parts very predictable, I was able to predict who they were and how the situation was going to play out. But the kind of end game and the main thing we learned about them was something I really wasn't expecting about them. And it's kind of, it puts a weird kind of, kind of finishes the movie off in a weird place because it's kind of a weird outcome that the two of them do have at the end of the movie. So the postcard killings, have you seen this movie? If you have, let me know your thoughts on the movie in the comments down below. Click the subscribe button so you can come back next time I do movie reviews or rankings, anything like that. So if you want to see all that kind of stuff, do click that subscribe button. But the movie itself, I th I thought it was okay. Honestly, never ever gonna rewatch it. If someone says to me, do you have a good movie recommendation? I'm not really gonna recommend it because I said, I already said this, I'm gonna forget about it right after I shoot this review. I'm never gonna think about it again. So honestly, it's not really a movie I could recommend, but if you've already seen it, you've already seen it. I think it's one of the guys movies that's just gonna be completely forgotten about. You'll search Jeffrey Dean Morgan, it'll be down the bottom and just no one, I think after like a month or two of people just wanting new movies, like, like 
if this was an older one, I probably wouldn't watch it. It's just saying that 2020 and Jeffrey Dean Morgan is the reason I wanted to watch it, just to watch something new. So after this whole lockdown happens, we get new movies. I don't think a lot of people are going to go back to watch this. So I think it's going to get forgotten about, really. I can't see it becoming a cult classic or anything. It's just, I honestly, I think it's going to be forgotten about. But yeah, that's my opinion on the movie. Let me know yours in the comments down below. And click that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.